Am I imagining things, LT? Or are your abilities getting stronger? I've always held back a little when I use my powers on living targets. Fear of hurting someone, I guess. But after what I saw on Eden Prime, I'm not holding back anymore. Not against a Geth, not against anyone. So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Miss Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handle yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. I wasn't aware of that. I won't discuss him again, sir. I'd appreciate that, Commander. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Personal data recorder for Major Elena Flores. 
Play the first entry. Sigma-23 is almost fully operational. The barracks and storage lockers are complete and we've begun stocking the munitions. It's highly unlikely the Alliance will patrol in the nebula. I expect our only risk will be from pirates, and who will believe them? Looks like we'll have space for two reinforced platoons of Cerberus commandos. Cerberus. Damn. We should have known. Play the second entry. The package arrived today for field testing. I'm told they're fundamentally similar to the units being developed on Novaria. They promise this batch will be stable. Something about them developing in proximity to the Master Control Unit. We detected some pirates setting up an anchorage in a neighboring system. I think we'll try deploying them there first. Play the last entry. They've escaped containment. Clever bastards. We treated them like animals. We should have treated them like POWs. They're spreading. Boarding the supply ships and sending them to random destinations. They'll be all over the cluster in a week. General, if you recover this message, my advice is... Screw the Rachni. They're too smart. Use one of the other projects. Flores, signing off. For the final time. Experiments on the Rachni. Failed containment. Didn't we just leave this party? Let's go. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are gonna die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth fleet out.
Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Enemy is everywhere! Shepard, this is my kind of mission.
I'm on my way. secure. Say the word. Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're gonna want to hear this one. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. Who are you, and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kahoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kahoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager Cluster. Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. These are classified Alliance files. I am not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Cerberus was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. You don't owe them any loyalty. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. But no secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. What are you gonna do with this information? Information is a commodity. It can be bought, sold, or traded. Why my employer desires this information is not my concern. I am only the buyer. My loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. That is unfortunate, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us.
You must die! Take cover! Message coming in. Patching it through. I didn't think it could be done, Commander. You managed to secure the base and neutralize the biotics without a single civilian casualty. Just doing my job, Admiral. I couldn't let innocent lives be lost. I wish every soldier had your definition of just doing your job. You're a credit to the uniform, Shepard. We're in your debt. Fifth fleet out. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. You've got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around.
Commander, on approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to move out, Commander. down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. There's the kid. What are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army... He'd be almost unstoppable. 
Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful. But be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. I'm just briefing my men. I suggest you do the same. The mission will succeed. The captain will not have it any other way. I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still trust him? This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon, and if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? No, we were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. I'm surprised you were able to reason with a Krogan. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. 
No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I'll have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Shadow seems clear enough. What would the other teams be called? Eigor, Manovai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Salarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA guns so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. I need a few more moments to prepare. Take your time, but we're ready to go as soon as you say. With all these defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. These Solarians seem pretty tough. I just hope they hold up under pressure. Just say the word. I'm ready to go. If we're doing this, then let's go. This facility is well protected. It must be very important to Saren. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Are you ready, Commander? Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends. But the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? It's fine. Let's move. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams, with Igor team. Manovai, Teato teams, move! I'm here, Samantha. Mano 
Nova is under coordinated crossfire. Check for long-range turrets helping the guest target. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We've got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. Perimeter secured. They're calling sat strikes. Jayeto, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? Hostile spotted. We've got access to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here, might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Williams and the Solarians to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Someone out there? What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, man. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I said anything to get out and get some payback. 
That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper? Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Commander. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they're so simple? So damn simple! What is going on here? Where are the guards? Where is Sam? Shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not gonna hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you don't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers, to control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you wanna make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never... Oh! You enjoyed that. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime.
We need to wipe this whole base out. I'm going to tear this whole place down. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper? A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply... are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is shot. Orders, Commander? Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Geth, returning from your position, J. Eto. Looks like Shadow kicked a sensitive spot. Williams, head them off. Hold them.
What's our turn? That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Charge is set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative! It's too hot! Can't risk it! We'll hold them off as long as we can... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move! <laughs> 